Good morning, everybody. Sunday morning. Um, today's daily bread is transformation. Transformation. And one of the, there's many examples of this, but one of the best examples to me would be Paul, or Saul, before he became Paul. Now, Saul, he's doing nothing to do with, with Jesus whatsoever, any Christians, period. He persecute him, murder him, do everything he could to discredit him. Then the Lord stepped in and transformed him from someone that hated Christians to someone that absolutely loved them and became one himself. So doing this transformation, his compassion and he gained compassion, he gained love, he he gained honor, loyalty, faith, hope doing this transformation. We're talking about Saul before he became Paul. And what a transformation that was. This is the same type of transformation we have to go through. We want to get to where Paul is, get to that level. Paul they were throwing that when I say word stone in our terms, we think of drugs, but there stone means being thrown rocks at. They, they would throw rocks at them. So when I say the word stone, that's what I mean. Just so for clarification. And that's the way it's, it's worded in the Bible. But he was, they were throwing rocks at him, stoning him. And then, you know, he got back up. Travel a little bit of ways, start preaching again. This is the kind of transformation we need. People can persecute us. People can talk about us. They can laugh at us. They can do whatever they want to do. But our faith in God must be solid and firm. We're supposed to build our house on a firm foundation. And that foundation is the Lord. If we can do that, oh my gosh, the things that God would do for us. We have to make the move first. We have to be bold enough to make that move. God's not going to move without us making a move. Is there anyone, that, any friend or any person that comes into your life, if they don't do something, do you do something for them? Probably not. This is what I'm saying. The transformation has to be. It's all in the Bible. It's written. Please take out time. It's not my words. These are not my words. Pick up your Bible and find out for yourself. There are so many great things that happen in there. And this person, Saul, that turned into Paul is a great example of transformation that we ourselves need to go through. I'm not saying that we hate the Lord or anything like he did or persecuted the Christians or whatnot, but he transformed from one that was against the Lord to one that absolutely loved him. And this is what we have to do. We have to make that transformation. And then things, that doesn't mean, and see, people think just because we are Christians that everything is just going to happen great for us. That's not how it's going to be. Sometimes, yeah, we're going to get blessings, but we're also going to have trials and tribulations. This is written in the Bible. We have to persevere through those trials and tribulations. Those are things that are going to happen. It happened to the best of them. The end you read through there, not one, maybe Enoch, um, but even all of the, the prophets and apostles, they all had something that they had to go through and we all are going to have to go through some things too but we still need to make this transformation those things will make us strong good morning sister those things will make us stronger and if we just hold on hold on keep our hand in god's hand we cannot let go we cannot let go um one thing we must remember, the trial and tribulation that we're going through, Jesus is right there with us. He is right there with us. Have you ever seen the picture of uh, 
Jesus is standing with his arm out like this, and one rock gets through and hits this guy that's behind him. And, and But when you see the other side of the picture, there's many other rocks being thrown. And Jesus is, has his head turned back looking towards God. Oh, did one get through? And so Jesus takes a lot more than we do. We think that we have a lot of things that happens to us. Yeah, well, there's some things to do, but Jesus has taken a lot more than we ever have. He's done a lot more for if we when you read, you'll find out how much all the sacrifices that were made. This is someone that came from heaven, from paradise, to come down to us. Didn't have to. He was already there. Came down and took all kind of persecution, all kind of rejection, but yet still died for us. The least we can do, read about him and, and find out how he done it and make a transformation for someone that doubts and, and someone that is against, like Saul did, and then become a Paul. Someone that loved him, had compassion, and just changed their ways. We can do this. We can do this. And we can do it together if possible. If you can't do it by yourself, find someone that knows something. Sit with them. And, hey, there's several churches out there, TWTs out there. There's a lot of different churches that you can go to. Find one. Plant yourself in there. Please. Go through this transformation. It may take some time, but that's okay. Do it while there's day, because when night come, no one can do it. Hopefully I'll see you later on, sister, today, um, depending on how the roads are. Um, I'm hearing there's some road closures, so hopefully I'll see you. If not, I'll get with you. And for everyone else, God bless you every second, all of you, every second, every minute, every hour of every day. God bless all of you. Have a good day.